Well, here we are today at the Community News Cafe down at the People Centre, and we've got the team here from Action Deafness. And I've got with me Leanne Carrick. Hi, Leanne. Hi. Can you just tell us a bit more about your role in Action Deafness? Um, yeah, I'm the Community Development Coordinator. Um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Community Support Service. Um, the aim of the Community Support Service is to support deaf, deafened and hard of hearing um, clients with independent living. Okay, and so what are the things you can help people with? Uh, basically we follow um, the government guidelines for five outcomes of independent living which is achieve economic well-being, enjoying and achieving, being healthy, staying safe and making a positive contribution. And you've got an interesting sort of description there about eligible support tasks. What does that actually mean? Um, basically, it's, it's supporting people with anything from set, setting up a home, um, managing mortgage, tenancy agreement, things like that, developing their life skills, domestic skills, um, advice on advocacy, um, helping support them with paying bills, if need be, setting up direct debits, things like that. Okay, and how long have you been working with Action Deafness? Um, I've been working for Action Deafness for approximately six months. Yeah, and how have you enjoyed it? I have, yes. Is it uh, a really kind of enjoyable sort of job to do? It is. There's a, a variety of things. There's a variety of things to do. Um, each day is very, very different. Yeah. So, what kind of things do you get up to then? Uh, <laughs> Uh, various things. I mean, we also, alongside um, doing the community support service where the support workers go out and support clients in their own home and out in the community, we also run a drop-in service. Um, so if we've got a client that's, that basically needs um, correspondence translating, because a lot of deaf people, um, BSL is their first language and their understanding of English is limited. Um, so we have a drop-in service where they can bring in correspondence, we can make phone calls and things like that for them. That's great. And how long have you been home down here at the People Centre? Um, we've been here at the People Centre since June. Yeah. And how's that been? Um, it's been it's been very different. Um, there's obviously a bigger community feel here because um, it's very sort of open planned. Um, people can sort of come and go and go as they please. We've obviously got the cafe here, um, you know, which makes it a much more friendly environment. I think. Does the cafe? Sort of like, I mean, like today, we're having a community news cafe. Do you think this is the kind of thing that we're good to be developed? Yes, I think so. Um, I mean, we have. Um, they, they, I know that the certain projects have coffee mornings here. Um, I know other projects have had um, over the summer. They've they sort of made good use of the of the cafe. Yeah, and do your service users use the cafe as well? Uh, they do. I mean, with the drop-in service that we yeah. have, because it's sort of a friendly, friendly service, we tend to sort of sit in here um, and, and talk to the clients in here. Yeah. We're very interested in that, getting information and news informally in cafe settings. Yeah. Do you think that's a good way of doing it? I think so. I mean, I think there are clients that do need a little bit of privacy, and, and obviously if they do need that, then obviously we can go elsewhere. But I think as a general rule, um, I think it's quite a nice, nice atmosphere sort of being in a cafe. Leanne, thanks for your input today no and good luck with everything. Thank you very okay. much.